Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I have a cool microscope. Uh, it's a digital microscope. It's seven inch HD display. You can connect it to your computer. Uh, it has uh, a lot of zoom. Let me see the specs. It has a uh, different kind of uh, resolutions, 1500 or five or eight or 10 or 12 megapixels in the highest. And then it's 4000 uh, by 3000. And video resolution, it can do from 720 up to uh, 1080 in full HD. Um, yeah, if you connect it to the computer, I'm not sure if it's just to download uh, the photos or the movie that you have created, or you can see it directly on your big screen. It has two uh, LEDs, and uh, yeah, this is the model uh, DM9 seems to be one of the latest um, there is a focus range from uh, 10 to 40 millimeters so you can put a proper uh, pcb underneath image format is uh, jpg and the video format is avi uh, it seems to have eight built-in leds so four by four probably and it can be used in windows xp 7 8 and 10 and mac os 10.5 and up so um, that is a problem uh, it is a kit so we need to uh, we need to build it uh, it supports 12 languages that is nice and it has eight leds brightness adjustable so maybe that's even on the on the head itself and it has external supplementary lamps and that are those two so i'm not sure if the eight leds if they talk about four and four of the externals or it's really that is on the sensor so uh, yeah let's have a look what it uh, comes with it came uh, bubble wrapped i will show you uh, a picture of that so uh, let's open it up i will zoom in a bit so uh, let's see what is in the box. Oh, it is a proper box. Yeah, bump uh, a little bit. So we have, we have all the things that I explained. I was not that clear, but here you have the specifications. So this is uh, I think you can use it all for. So, uh, specifications. So uh, let's see what we find in it. We find a CD. Yes. So I I will make a zip file you can download because I'm not even sure I have a computer that still uses these. And, uh, but okay, we see. I'm not sure if it's the driver, as I said, or uh, it is uh, the program to to live uh, stream your video. So it has a remote controller, oh, remote controller, plug in, so let's see how this works, let's see how that works, and uh, look at this big screen. Here is the sensor. Okay, here is our answer. These are indeed the eight LEDs they talk about. And uh, well, this seems to be the focus. So you can see directly on the screen. We can put here a flash card. Here is the power. Maybe there is a huge battery. Okay, that's probably rechargeable, 2000. Williams. That is a lot. Okay. And then we have the. Let's get this. I don't know what is this. Is this a ring? Uh, little book. Okay, seems to be a calibration sheet thingy. This is 
and you will it is in English so that is good and there is no build plan but it will probably be not that complicated here is the fit and it is the adjustable strength for the light I would think doesn't feel that smooth and these are the two lights you can put on the work early okay we see how that goes it already has a scratch right here together and uh, I will put the time lapse because it will probably be a bit boring how to put this together Well, they uh, supplied only uh, one cable for USB and you need one here to charge the battery and if you want to use it as a camera to the PC and you need here power for the light and I think they only provide one cable because you can charge the battery and when it's full it can just work without a cable and uh, and if you want an extra light, then you just put the same cable. Well, I can show. You can put the same cable for the lights. And as you can see, then you can add a lot of brightness. But uh, I found that uh, if I have a little surface, the light itself is already enough. So I don't necessarily need this uh, extra super bright but it is but it is there so that is cool uh, so i will be using now uh, you need a, a micro sd card and it can only do a maximum of 32 uh, and uh, i didn't have that i only had uh, 512 or 265 and uh, so i ordered now a 32 so i'm gonna play with it uh, later uh, it comes with a remote control and that is easier than to push the buttons because if you push the buttons here you see the screen is moving um, if you use it as a computer camera the resolution is completely gone it goes to 720 1200 and but you can see it then on the on the big screen with this nice but uh, if you want to make the high resolution uh, video and the high resolution like 12 megapixel you're you need to store it uh, locally on the sd card so i will just add uh, the remote control i will switch it off uh, you just connect this i think this can go to your mobile phone because it it can go here but it doesn't really do anything uh, that i know because the light didn't go on and also this is really yeah it, it, it didn't do anything i think no the light doesn't go on so this is not what i should do no, we don't use that. Um, 
if we connect it to the computer installing installing the software is just super easy you can uh, get the latest version from the website but that is the one of the first versions so that's exactly the thing that you get on the cd and i will put that also in the zip file so it's uh, it's all there in the in the links below um yeah the only thing we're gonna play with now is uh, to see on the on the computer and Connecting it to the computer is just a USB cable that came with it. Um, we put it here in the screen because it is not connected to the bottom. You put it in the computer and then it will just find the uh, yeah what is it a generic uh, video device. And that's it. And uh, yeah, the two pieces of software I will show you. Oh, it comes with two uh, little programs, the High View and the MCAT. And uh, I'm just plugging in now the USB. And yeah, now the. Uh, okay, I'm now just switching on with the USB plugged in. And then the. And then it will. No. Okay, I'm connected to the computer. So. Uh, do I want to be a mass storage? And then if you select that option, then you can access your memory card and get the high resolution pictures from that. Or you decide it is a PC camera. And that is what we're going to play with now on the computer. Or a charging mode, which is actually mean the local mode. So then you everything you do there, you put on your memory card. And, and that is for the high resolution. So we just gonna pick PC mode. I click OK, and then I'm going to switch over to the computer. Okay, first I'm just gonna try the high view. This is this, and then you select device, open, and then if it was installed properly, which is just a general. So it should be, you know, something video converter camera. Well, there is not too much that you can change here. It's just M or JPEG, and this is the highest resolution. So if we open this, we have now a view on the on what the what the microscope is seeing, and well, you can see the the aluminium. Um, board. I will put something SMD there, but this is not the highest resolution. This is only 1280 by 720. So this is nice just for a quick, quick look. But if you really want to zoom in, you need to store it uh, locally on the on the microscope. Okay, I will put there a little. Uh, A little, uh, yeah, it's an uh, RF amplifier receiving. I will just put it underneath. And uh, let's go to the computer screen. <laughs> yeah, back to the computer screen. I will just focus. Yeah, well, if you can see, this is good amplification but the resolution is not that high but it is enough and uh, we can now also uh, record uh, if we go to the left top here you can make a, a snapshot an image or you can capture some video but it will be on this lower resolution but then you have it immediately on your computer and you don't need the SD device. But I really uh, advise to, to get this micro SD card because then you can just set it to 12 megapixel instead of this almost uh, one. And then we have the other uh, program, the NCAP. This is the 309, it's the latest version. And well, as you can see, it is uh, the same. It's just capturing the same device. The cool thing is you can make this uh, full screen. But again, this is only 1280 by 720. Uh, by pushing F3, you can make a, a snapshot. Uh, you have video capture. You can do the same. 
but in the end, it is all the same resolution. And then this is just nice to have a, a, a live view. But uh, yeah, if, if you want good quality pictures, uh, and I will show you on the screen. Even though I don't have an SD card, I, I can show you on the screen the resolution is so much better. So let's do that. Okay, we're now looking at the microscope. Let's switch it on. Well, it knows it's not connected to the computer, so probably will not ask any questions. No, it doesn't. Um, yeah, and if you look now, this is really useful because this is just from the little display of the microscope itself. And you can even tilt a little bit the display. So if I zoom in now, you can see this is so much better than from the computer screen. And uh, yeah, and, and probably if you if you make a picture 12 megapixels, the display cannot even show that. So that, that will be even better from the picture. And if you can see here yeah, in the corner, I has set it to 12 megapixel. You can do that with the remote control if I press menu. You can set the resolutions. I pick the highest. Of course, per shooting image quality, highest quality, of course. Sharpness, I leave it as it is. ISO, leave it as it is. Compensation, even on your pictures, if you want to date tag or not. Time and date. Time date, shutdown, screen protection, language settings, line assist, formatting is for your SD card. I think first time you probably need to do that. And back to default. And what version are we running? This is version V1, but it does seems to be from uh, September 25. I didn't see any newers on the website. I didn't see any firmware downloads at all, but uh, Okay. Yes, and I'm going through the menu just with uh, with this uh, little remote control. So you can see the OK button is also the picture snapshot to make a shot to the SD card to start your video to the SD card. Up, down, and the menu. So it's this menu. You step through it, you click OK if you want to change something. And menu is also from here to here. And again, menu, you also exit. So it is kind of straightforward. And yes, and you can, uh, if you have uh, a PCB that is higher, you can just turn these little wheels on the back and then it will just go. And you can see you can put quiet something underneath and then you just need to focus it again by look at this this is super super bright maybe you can see mm. no this is better i think like this yeah Or you go down, 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 down. It gets bigger, 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 bigger. A little bit out of focus. But then you can just get it back into focus. Here we have it. Well, I think we can read the component. <laughs> cool. Look at this, it can still focus. Yeah, now if we move a little, it just... Well, cool. Uh, if I have my memory card, I will add it to the end of uh, my video. But what I've seen now, uh, I didn't sound too enthusiastic, maybe, but, but I am, because it looks really, really good. Only the, the, the live view on the computer is really low resolution. I'm disappointed about that, but I don't think I need to be, because we put the SD card in, and then we can make pictures of uh, 12 megapixel. And 
in the end, the live view was not that bad. It depends what you want to, to see. And it really magnifies amazingly because, and the screen is big enough because yeah, you can even see here from the camera, you are looking at it. It is, uh, yeah, it's cool. And in the end, it was not that uh, expensive at all. So it's, uh, <laughs> I would almost say it's, it's proper quality. So that's it. Finally, the digital, uh, microscope and i'm really uh, amazed by it it is really good and uh, if you add the sd card then you can really make uh, good snapshots and uh, but for now it's already good if you look directly on the screen and we've seen already on the pc you can do that but this screen is uh, is, is a lot uh, better and it's big enough so i don't think you necessarily need the pc screen but but yeah it's it is really a good good song i'm uh, I'm really uh, amazed by it. So uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.